All right, we're late to the draft again, but we only missed the bands. And to be honest, Rengar is back on the menu. We do not want, they do not want to see Jordan back on that champion. Malphite banned as always. Nyla banned as always. Ezreal also taken away. But also notably, Zaya taken away from Keo. So two ADC bans from Liam's premiums. Basil's Dazzles responds with first pick Declan. Uh, first, oh, <laughs> first pick Syndra for Declan. Trundle is left open, though, as Liam's premiums hovers it. And the Trundle will be locked in. Hold on. Quinn is picked for Liam's premiums. Blind pick Quinn, even. So I wonder, like, I know Quinn is good this patch, but I don't actually have, I have no idea on the matchup knowledge for this. I wish Jason was here for that, but, uh, Nautilus is picked up. Nautilus has been missing from the draft recently, and oh my goodness, Caitlyn is picked. I was just talking about Caitlyn earlier, I forget why. But anyway, <laughs> actually, I remember anyway. Nautilus has been uh, oddly absent from HLCS. I feel like no one wants to just take the humble pick for point and click CC. Nautilus so strong. Usually for um, usually usually picked by Chris or Wusong or someone like that. But we'll see who who will be paddling it for Basil's Dazzles alongside the Caitlyn there. And Vi is picked up for Liam's premiums, taking it away from the jungle. So this is really odd, actually. Is Maybe Mickey is going Vi mid? I did suggest that at one point, but we do have a bit of an odd team comp here for now as Jarvan is taken away. And sorry, I'm a bit slow on this setup because I was not ready for them to start draft so soon. <laughs> But, um, why can't I screen, share my screen? Kaisa ban. Okay, thanks for nothing, Q. <laughs> or whoever's doing the draft, Basil. And Kane is banned away. Interesting ban from Liam's premiums. And to round out the final ban here, they have to be super confused. That's supposed to be a Kaisa ban. So maybe just ban some ADCs here. Varus is banned away as well. So they are trying to target Liam in this, in this draft here. They have identified that if Liam is not playing jungle, he will be a very big threat. And oh no, that's a Seraphine. Someone broke the emergency glass. That's probably Miggy on Seraphine. Oh dear. Now I'm just confused because unless it's Seraphine support, but then I don't know who's playing. We'll have to see what Liam's premiums is cooking because they have like two top laners or three if you really want to count by and like two junglers. The pigeonhole principle is confused here. And Seraphine can be flexed mid as well, so there's just a lot of a lot of flex going on here for Liam's premiums. Meanwhile, for Basil's Dazzles, Irelia is picked. Likely as a top lane as a top lane pick here, as Syndra and Caitlyn have already locked in mid and bot. So no way that Declan tries to roll swap Syndra mid to bot. And to round out the draft, to, as the jungler for Basil's Dazzles. I'm expecting something with some magic damage, but I guess it doesn't really matter. That's not really what I meant. Cast <laughs> in. Definitely not going to be the jungle there. Xin Zhao. Xin Zhao for Wusung. Aha. Yes, that makes sense. Xin Zhao does make it through the draft. I think if I think if Liam's premium just bans Xin Zhao instead of Kane, it would have been really hard for Wusung to pick the champion there. So he would have had to pick Sejuani or something again. Because Vi taken away, Jarvan banned, and Xin Zhao banned. It would have been really hard, but doesn't matter. Lilia is picked now. What is going on? Is that a Quinn ADC? 
It makes sense if it's Queen ADC, but then who is playing mid? Is it Seraph? It's no, it's not Seraph. It's Vi mid maybe. What is going on? There's no way that's actually supposed to be Lily. What is, what is going on? What are they cooking? Zero miss picks, Liam says. So this is all accurate from Liam's premiums. They're cooking up something huge. This will be this will be interesting. And uh, yeah, we find a lot more champions. Uh, making their first appearance here. So, I think this is the first Caitlyn game. This is the first... This is the first Quinn game, for sure. And the first Lilia game. So, yeah, definitely... Definitely one for the sat sheet. But we'll see if Liam's premiums can win anything. At least we... You know, if Liam's premiums lose here, at least they'll have the they'll have the benefit of the doubt. You know, they picked they picked the fun champions. They put on a show. They were entertaining. I'm quite strong. That's why I'm expecting at least. But um, man, I really wish Jason was here to analyze this because I cannot tell you how Liam's premiums is supposed to win. It does. They do have really strong team fight. Lilia. Very strong, um, especially against, uh, actually, no, I think Lily is not that good here, considering that he's, she, she's being picked against Xin Zhao, and assuming it's a jungle matchup. I get it. I just, I just know, I have, I have no idea, but in, I know in a team fight, Nautilus will definitely make Lilia's job difficult, as well as Syndra if she can get a nice Sky of the Week. Caitlyn's traps will also make something that Lilia has to walk around. So, definitely not here. I have no idea who's playing what. Like, I don't have, know what Anthony would play. I don't know what Liam's playing. The only thing I can be I can be pretty sure is that Miggy's playing Seraphine. Other than that, they're cooking something. Jordan might be playing Lilia. But... I don't even know. Meanwhile, for Basil's Dazzles, I can pretty much call what's happening. I'm pretty sure Basil's playing Irelia. Wusong's playing Xin Zhao. Sam is playing Nautilus. Kyo might be playing Caitlyn, and Declan's playing Syndra. Yeah, so Kyo's probably my will. No, no role swaps for Basil's Dazzles. Meanwhile, Liam's premiums is just... I don't even know. <laughs> Should be exciting. Should be exciting. I really wish I could find out like what the matchups are though. But I think team comp wise, Basil Dazzles the shadows. is Fear actually controls them. pretty decent. They have a lot of good pick potential with Nautilus and Syndra. But they also have a strong team fight with Irelia and Caitlyn. So actually Caitlyn's not that great in team fights, but will be very useful when trying to go against these melee, pseudo melee Champions like Trundle, Vi, and Lilia. And Quinn is also fairly short range as well. So, Liam's premiums will have to get up close and personal if they want to do any kind of team fighting. They can't really stand back like they did last game with Varus. And they can't really burst down anyone with Rengar. Um, they do have decent, they do have really strong split push with Trundle and Quinn. But we'll see if they can pull it off this time. I feel like the reason why they were able to pull it off in game two is because Liam was able to generate such a huge gold lead in the bot lane against Kyo and Sam. So, definitely wondering <laughs> who wins what. But we shall see. We shall see how this ends, friends. <clears throat> As we have locked in the champions, we will have to wait three more minutes for competitive integrity. integrity. This is also the latest I think HLCS has ever ran. It is currently 1 a.m. at the start of Game 3. But I'm super happy that every all 10 players still want to go with the Game 3. Because I was not expecting everyone to want to keep playing. But hey, I'll keep... I'll, if, if they'll keep playing, I'll keep casting. I'm very happy to, to watch League of Legends. Especially uh, when the Legends are my friends. So becomes more personal.
Every time I see Kyo get burst down by Jordan, I'm like, that's personal. Every time I see Woosung and Chris fight against each other, it's a, bro it's a little tussle of brotherly love. Philly style. Every time I see Miggy in mid lane, I smile. Because I know that he's doing his best. <laughs> now he actually did really well last game, so let's not let's not let's not make too much fun of him. We'll see how he can pilot the Seraphine though. I think it will end up just being support Seraphine. I don't think there's anyone else on Liam's premiums that can be a support champion. So I'm maybe expecting Quinn Seraphine bot lane. Lilia mid? I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> I'm surprised they banned Kane though, instead of Zin Zhao, but I suppose Kane was an option for Wu Song as well. They had to have known he was gonna pick Zin Zhao, so hopefully they've did that with intention. Basil picking another one of his iconic champions, I feel like. I don't know if he's iconic on Irelia, but definitely known for his mechanical skills. They, he wasn't able to really showcase them on the Riven last game because they're so far behind um, due to Liam's performance on Varus. But maybe this time he'll be able to cook up something with Irelia. I have no idea what his matchup will be, but will be a, his own kind of threat in the side lane. I think I really should be able to fare fine against Trundle, or I mean, against Trundle and Quinn, but we'll see how the players play it out. It, all these top lane matchups and like split, split push potential, all comes down to just the matchup knowledge. And it's matchup knowledge that I don't have, so we're gonna have to hope that the players know what they're doing. <laughs> like I said, all these players are way better than me, Except for like maybe one or two. But uh Yeah, I'm a bit retired, aren't I? <laughs> but it's okay. Retired doesn't mean I can't enjoy the game. As we wait five more seconds to load onto the rift here. When we when when we start uh when we transition to the loading screen we'll be able to maybe suss out where people are going. So hopefully we'll be able to find that out. But more importantly, I just want to see who's playing what. I'm just confused on, like, I just want to see what Anthony's playing, really. None of these champions are Anthony's champions. Unless he's playing Seraphine. That would be crazy. Maybe Miggy will first time Vi mid. I did recommend it to him. Oh, and Anthony's playing Quinn. Disgusting. Hubert is playing... Vi mid, it seems. I think it's I th okay. So I think it's Trundle top, Lilia jungle, Vi mid, Quinn Seraphine bot lane is my guess. But wait a second, no, Miggy has teleport. Who's what the heck is going on? <laughs> We do see Liam is not playing some, uh, ADC anymore. He's back on the jungle. We'll see if he if he ends up uh, invading again. Hopefully not. Please not. That be three games in a row. But meanwhile, it's just as we predicted on the the Basil's Dazzles. Everyone doing the conventional. This entire series is just the conventional versus the unconventional. It's gonna be really hard for me to call who's where until I see them start running out. Looks like it's gonna be Quinn top lane. Anthony is playing top lane again. And it will look like it's Vi mid. It's Trundle Seraphine bot lane. No. It's Vi support? What is going on? Anyway. Jordan and Hubert cooking up something in the bot lane. But anyway. We have Basil's Dazzles back on the blue side for game three. In the top lane, Basil in the jungle, Wusung in the mid lane, Declan in the bot lane, Keo and Sammy. For Liam's premiums on the red side, we have Liam, uh, no. we have Anthony in top lane, Liam in the jungle, Miggy in the mid lane, and Hubert and Jordan in the bot lane. I don't even know what's going on. I feel like, I feel like, 
Tron Lil Vi will struggle really hard against Caitlyn Nautilus. But they did Minions pick it with... No, they didn't pick it with knowledge of who they're counterpicking. So they're just they're just cooking something. Um, meanwhile, Anthony getting another top lane game for himself. So that's that's good for him. His flexibility score is not going to be so d disastrous. Meanwhile, Miggy playing Seraphine. We'd like to see the, the, the flexibility come out from him. Because we do make fun of him for having a small champ pool. But... He has played three different champions this series now, so we'll see if he can win on this one. Seraphine, one of the more comfortable hits, but hold on, he's, they're going to try and bush cheese Keo in the bot lane. They they, they charge up the Vi Q and force Keo to flash heal as Super burns the ignite. But meanwhile, in the top lane, Anthony matched up against Basil again. Both took ignite this time. No, none of this teleporting. Weenie, back, te teleport back to lane, CS, gap, nonsense. They're both there to fight. So we'll see who can get the, the kill first. Uh, <clears throat> I really will find a stun onto Anthony. Anthony uses the ignite. Will he be able to kill Basil? One more auto attack from Basil. Will he, will he be able to do it? But no, he does not. Anthony flushes away, finds the solo kill onto Basil level 2. Wow. Anthony just actually... Overperforming, at least to my expectations. But meanwhile, Wusung, <laughs> no, please, Liam, stop invading, stop invading, please walk away. Liam invades for the third time this game. But hold on, <clears throat> the Dazzles, Dazzles will go. <laughs> they're losing so much across the map as they get a double. As Jordan gets a double kill in the bot lane as Trundle. What is that? How is that even possible? <laughs> He fi they find a double kill. They use up all the summoner spells to get the to get to get them, but it's completely worth it. As Liam tries to go for an invade, will get snuffed out by by Wu Sung and chased away by Jordan and Basil. But at least he doesn't die this time. It's a three for nothing in favor of the Liam's prim in favor of Liam's premiums right now. So wow, I. <laughs> I need to get over my shock because I'm just, I'm actually left speechless by what I'm witnessing. <laughs> I do not expect Jordan to be able to get a kill there, much, much less two. So we'll see what they can do with this lead. He does get a team map for himself, Will, so that will make farming a lot easier against this Caitlyn and Nautilus, be able to push against this Caitlyn and Nautilus. And uh, yeah, wow, it's actually working as Anthony goes in for the trade as Quinn onto Basil. And Cuba goes for the Vault Breaker, but goes wide, will get hooked by by Sammy Yoon. He might, they might have just overstepped here, but wow, look at the damage that Jordan's putting out. He might just be able to kill Sammy, he will! He gives it a big bonk for the club, and it's, it was looking so bad. Cuba missed the Q, but doesn't matter. <laughs> Jordan will be able to collect that kill onto Sammy Yu before Wusung even arrives. And that is in, that is insane. I They don't even have to burn ignite. Sam just dies there for free, basically. They do lose a lot of health on the exchange, but who cares? They got a whole kill off of it. Wusung actually identifying Bali is a bit of a problem. Will be camping in the bush as Huber tries to go for the Q onto Q. Is it nice? It's a nice E back from Q. Will they be able to find a kill onto Huber? But oh my gosh! Wusung flashes to try and chase, but the Trundle Pillar slow is so crippling. They're not able to continue the fight. And <laughs> Liam tries to go for a gank onto Lilia, but the, the Swirl C won't be able to roll into lane. And uh, yeah, wow. This bobbling does it all. They find the 2v2 kill. They they dodge the gank. And even though it was a great um, it was a great display of mechanics there from Kyo. Just able to use the the caliber net in time to dodge the VQ. It didn't even matter. It's like they still don't find the kill onto Hubert even with Wusung's help. So. Wow. Anyway, 
Level six coming in for the for the solo laners. Jordan is three and zero on Trundle ADC. And oh wow! <laughs> Anthony comes down for a roam top lane. Miggy tries to use the ultimate, but goes completely wide. And Declan will be able to walk forward to use the ultimate onto Miggy, but he won't die. In fact, he actually just donates the kill over to Miggy. So, you know, Miggy didn't really deserve that kill. Completely missed the uh, completely missed the ultimate there. But he will take what he can get. Finds the kill with Anthony's help from the top lane. So, great roam from Quinn. That is the power of Quinn, actually. Will just be able to get the push, get the roam. Faster than I really, because Basil didn't take teleport. He won't be able to match any kind of map movement from this Quinn. So we'll see how this shakes out into the late game as well, because Miggy has teleport. Declan doesn't. So the only teleport in this game is with Liam's premiums, and that's with the Quinn. So they will be able to get the fight sooner. They will be able to just have the 2v1 fights earlier. So hopefully they can convert this map movement advantage into something huge. It's paying off so far. They find a kill onto Declan. But um, in the meantime, it's yeah, it's 5-0 and oh in favor of Liam's premiums. Basil finds a stun onto, onto Anthony, but I, and he's able to cut him out. But wow, Anthony uses the Eve, dodges the ult from Irelia, he flushes on the turret. Basil flushes after him. Will he go down? He will. He, wow, Anthony lives. He turns around, shoots Basil in the face as he takes two shot, tower shots. Basil not able to find his whole kill onto Anthony. Incredible. And Wusong was here to try and fix his mess, but he's getting he's getting counter kicked by by Lilia and Liam there when right when it matters. And meanwhile, the bot lane they're trying to tower dive. What? Oh my gosh, they're trying to tower dive. Wow. They won't they won't end up killing Sammy Yoon there, but. I'm just, Liam's premiums are here to play. I was not expecting Basil's Dazzles to be losing like this. <laughs> it's 7-0 overall. Who will be the first death? Is it Mickey? No, Mickey, even Mickey won't die. Wow, it's just, uh, so much action. And it's all going in favor of Liam's premiums. Please subscribe, I guess. What is going on? Subscribe to Liam's premiums as wow. I need I need Jason. <laughs> Liam, Liam and Liam and Anthony coming down from top lane for this gank, but uh Mickey tries to start it off by with another ultimate but doesn't connect again. Mickey not really doing anything for his team. He doesn't even get an assist for that kill, but doesn't matter. Declan will go down a second time as Liam flashes forward for that kill. Definitely a bit rusty on the Seraphine, but it's okay. Miggy doesn't need to be good, it seems. Doesn't need to be, uh... Okay. As long as he doesn't die to Declan in this mid lane, it should be fine. As long as they keep this perfect game going. It's a perfect game so far. No, no objectives have even been taken yet. And my game is paused. Why is my game paused? What happened to my Wi-Fi? My Wi-Fi is dead again. This is really upsetting. Yeah, it broke at 9.30. Oh, more technical difficulties. Why? I'm so sad. But I, uh, yeah, I mean, to recap, been at 9:30, still 8-0, all in favor of Liam's premiums. Trundle vibe bot lane somehow getting the better of Caitlyn Nautilus, and even Anthony finding the soul kills onto Basil in the top lane. Must be super frustrating to lose to Anthony, who never plays top lane, much less the, the champions themselves. I guess the copium is that Quinn is kind of an ADC. But, you know, last game, Basil had the benefit of the doubt. He couldn't really do much because um, bot lane was losing so badly to Liam. But this time, he's just losing solo to Anthony straight up. He, he is actually just losing the matchup this time. So... And he came and complained that it was counterpick because he picked Irelia into Quinn. So, 
We'll have to see if Basil can make up for it. But so far, it's not good, looking great for the top laner from the guy with the polo from Uniqlo. Miggy's doing well this series as well. He, will, he should be able to have a better fantasy score on average than Megan by the end of this. Won't be the worst in the league anymore. And that's what we like to see. We do like to see the uphill climb, the rise of Miggy in the mid lane. As we return to the loading screen. Ah, more technical difficulties. But yeah. It's also interesting. Um, Hubert taking Hail of Blades on Vi will be able to get a lot more burst damage in these early levels. That's probably why they were able to win so many 2v2s early. The bot lane of Basil's Dazzle just wasn't expecting the burst damage coming out from Vi. So, I really hope we don't miss too much as we load back onto the Rift. I don't know why it keeps doing that. I'm so sad that this is the series we end up getting technical difficulties on, but no, we lost so many. There were three, ki four kills in our absence in the three minutes that we were gone as, yeah, looks like they were able to get a few kills bot lane onto Trundle and Vi, as well as one onto Liam. I really also getting a solo kill or something top lane. Might have had to help with Wusung. But we'll never know because we lost it. Ah! Oh! That's so sad. Anyways. We've had a good run so far with technical difficulties in the HLCS, so can be thankful enough for that. But anyway, let's get back into the game. Basil's Dazzles looking to get back into this game as Basil now has the Borg. He will just be able to use the one item power spike on Irelia to start winning these winning these 1v1s. He tries to use the the ult onto onto Liam, but will he be able to actually kill Liam? Liam dies to Basil! Basil gets two 1v1s despite missing the ultimate. He will not go. Uh, he will not go down without a fight. And yeah, he gets gets. He just gets two more kills for himself. So I was talking about, while we were loading back into the game that Basil has not had a great performance in this laning phase so far, but he will be able to make up for it as he's now three and four on the side. Really, has the fork as well. So we'll just be able to stop being his own kind of side lane threat as. A lot of pings going down the bot lane, and <clears throat> and as Hubert uses the ultimate onto Wusung, Wusung using the ultimate himself, but will go down, but but is able to trade his life one for one as Kyo um, cleans up the kill onto Hubert. And yeah, Anthony was also present in that team fight. I was super surprised. He's able to just run around this map with... Little consequence, but might be gone for too long as he's trying to invade on these raptors. So we'll see if uh, he ends up giving over the first turret. And oh no, he just got caught up by Declan. He's just going to die to the ultimate for there from Syndra. And yeah, that is some questionable map movement from Anthony. I don't know why he's taking raptors. Um, but who cares? I guess makes it more entertaining for us viewers. Dies to, to Declan's ultimate. And uh, yeah, Liam will be able to ca catch that wave top lane. Um, it seems like the power of Trundle Vi in the bot lane has slowed down as Miggy might be take might die, but no, he does Declan does not have a f does not have his mythic yet, and he also does not have his ultimate crucially, so. Sammy Yoon finds a hook onto Vi, but Jordan is just running after Kyo. He flashes him, or forces him to use his flash. And <laughs> I don't know if they can actually get out of this alive as Hubert and Vi try to uh, 
Yeah, Hubert and Jordan try to run back. Yeah, wow, Hubert with his dying breath blocks the ultimate for Jordan. What a noble sacrifice as he was getting, he was all but dead there as, since he got back in by Danny Yoon. And Liam trying to do something here, trying to get the kill onto Kyo, but will he be able to? He finds a sleep onto him, and wow, he, the watch out even is enough to kill onto the drowsy Caitlyn, and he finds, it, he finds a double kill onto Sammy Yoon as well. Liam turns the play around. It was looking like a one for one in favor of Basil's Dazzle's bot lane, but Liam shows up, able to find two. And wow, is incredible for the namesake jungler on Liam's premiums. Having a much better jungle game than he's had before on Belveth. So, it's all because he didn't invade that one time. Looking like first tower will go to Liam's premiums in the bot lane. Trundle, a super strong side lane threat. Will, does look to be moving towards um, the Divine Thunderer. So. We'll see who ends up. We'll see how these lane of time and shake out. Meanwhile, across the map, Wusung will take the Rift Tailed. While. Yeah, Wusung will take the Rift Tailed. While Liam's Premiums will take the Drake. So. Evening up the Drake count 1 to 1 is good. As the Swirl C connects onto Wusung, and wow, an incredible ultimate from Miggy! It connects with a reset and onto Wusung, and Wusung might just die here, but Wusung's still alive! How does Wusung keep doing it? He's not even playing Alistar! Vi goes down to Declan, and Trundle also almost goes down, but is able to run away with his with the help of Seraphine. Meanwhile, in the rest of the fight, Kyo in a bit of an opposition. Actually, no, it's Liam in a bit of an opposition as he's caught in the enemy jungle, but the rest of, rest of Basil Stassels will just let it be. They'll trade one for one. Wusung for Hubert. But wow, I'm. God, why? How does Wusung keep getting away with this? Where he just lives for so much longer than he needs to. Or is a, like I'm expecting him to. Definitely the help with the Eclipse Shield as well as the. The Demacian Challenge or whatever it's called. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> <laughs> the um the Zinsau ultimate able to negate so much damage outside the circle. But yeah. Niggy also having so much impact in this game on Seraphine. Seraphine able to heal up his teammates. And oh no. Anthony trying to find a kill on the Kyo, but might just die as he eats a hook from Sammy. And yeah, Kyo is able to live. Anthony not so lucky. Won't be able to trade one for one at all. So dies in the side lane. Had ignite. Unfortunately for him, not able to kill. But it doesn't matter. He's able to draw two up to the top lane. Jordan able to push this wave into the bot lane tower. But here comes Declan Basil, the solo laners, and the, the ultimate from Kaylin also is used, but it doesn't even matter. It gets cancelled since Basil is there. Is able to kill Hubert and will be able to kill Jordan as well. Reaping his revenge for Basil's Dazzles. It's just two for nothing for the bot for the bot lane. Jordan and Hubert are definitely running out of steam here. The they were cooking, but starting to smoke and burn a bit. Still can't. Miggy gets. <laughs> oh my gosh, Miggy ults backwards. I'm sorry, I've got so flabbergasted by that that I didn't even get to see how. Uh, Liam solo killed Zin Zhao under tower. Yeah, wow. Um, Miggy <laughs> gang pressured by Caitlyn and Declan there. Ults backwards on Seraphine. And will go down subsequently. And Anthony might just... He respawns and he might just go down as well. But nope. Will be able to live a bit longer. As he walks away. And wow. Yeah. Liam just getting a random kill top lane. Declan and Caitlyn getting ram kill mid lane. Gold is super even, actually, all things considered. Slightly in favor of Liam, Liam's premiums, but I would give it. I would give Basil's Dazzles still the like the advantage here. They playing a way more um, cohesive team comp, and it's way more obvious what they want to do. 
Meanwhile, dude, Jordan and Huber are just running around like a bunch of goons. Just <laughs> two melee champions just trying to take down towers is a, definitely a sight to behold, but it's not going to matter because Declan is just going to be able to use this guy of the week. But wait, here comes the Trundle Pillar, and the Q is good, but Sammy, De Sammy Yoon is there. What a great defense from the support of Basil Dazzle, and Huber is going to go down to the... But the Ulf of Caitlyn, a nice guy of the week from Declan. We'll find two, we'll find Miggy, we'll find Jordan as well. And it's just a three for nothing. <laughs> they're just trying to... I think they're running out of things to... Running out of plays to run because... Incredible map movement there from Battle Dazzle. Sam waiting in the shadows, waiting in the sideline for Cuba to go on to something. But Liam trying to get something back onto Declan. But Declan, is, will he be able to survive? No, he does go down to the burn from Lilia. Does get the shutdown. Uh, does get the shutdown over to Lilia, but man, I'm not I'm so not convinced that Jordan and Huber are going to be able to pilot these champions to victory, especially with um, the champions that they're playing against. They're playing against Kaylin, Nautilus, Declan, or <laughs> Kaylin, Nautilus, and Syndra. Very difficult to try and get on top of. And so. They're trying to play like a weird kind of pick comp, but it is really hard for them to burst down anyone before they get punished for it. But we'll see if they can continue to find success. But so far they were just went they were three and zero in lane, but now they are zero and nine out out of lane. Is that correct? It seems so as. Basil Dazzle for the first time in this game have the have gold lead now. So definitely feeling a lot better as the as Liam's premium team comp starts to fall off. Like Anthony just going in for this flank here, but it gets immediately denied by Declan. Mickey gets a nice ultimate onto Sammy, but it's just Nautilus. The the vial it does get used onto 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 Keo. Huber uh Huber and uh, Huber and Jordan just running at him. The singling out Kyo in the, the entire fight, like, just doesn't care about anything else, and it actually worked. Um, Sammy goes down as well in that fight, so it's a one for nothing overall. Basil was crucially absent from that team fight, though, so can't really say it was a fair fight. Doesn't matter, though, as Liam's premiums will get the Drake for themselves, and um, yeah. It's a bit crazy that they are still able to win that team fight, but we'll see. I kind of, I'm kind of going to give it at the fluke because Basil wasn't there. But it is really entertaining to just watch <laughs> Hubert and Jordan just run at, like, just pick, pick one target and just, just, just drop everything on them. Hubert ults someone, Jordan pillars and trundle W's after him. Like, they, they, they're just, it actually is just, I pick you to die. And they just run at them, like, like Yorick ghouls. And wow, uh, the, the stopwatch there from Liam allows him to live, but Sammy is there with a the hook. When, wow, Mickey will be able to keep him alive with a W. Huge, and will he find it? He finds a huge ultimate onto two in the back line. Miggy doing so much work on the Seraphine, but oh no, they won't be able to find any kills. Huber gets caught in the tower. Will they be even able to kill Sammy Yoon? And yes, they will find a kill from Miggy, and Miggy also blocks for his top laner. He's doing so much in this team fight. Will be able to get out of it alive though. He gets tagged by Wusung, and wow, Miggy doing so much work in that team fight. Not only does he find the huge ultimate, oh, I can't, I don't even want to talk about it right now because. Wusung goes back in onto Liam, finds the kill, but will get traded over for Jordan. But wow, 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 wow. And uh, Miggy doing so much in that team fight. First, he heals Liam, able to let him survive. Then he counter punches with the ultimate, finds two. They're able to get so much damage off under turret, but isn't able, they weren't able to quite um, get the kill before Hubert goes down, but it doesn't matter. Miggy still finds the kill anyway, so he denies a kill, saves, uh, yeah, he denies a kill, sets up a kill, and finds, ends up 
finishing it for for the team. So doing a lot of work. And uh, Hubert will just get caught out there. Not much to really say there. <laughs> Declan will pick up the kill, but yeah, super super proud of Miggy for that one. I get caught out here. Does get he will just be straight up caught out there as Declan finds a nice stun on Syndra. Syndra, another signature champion from Declan. Starting to find uh, a lot of crucial uh, stuns here. So because of that, he they're just gonna start up this Baron. I mean, two were dead. Hubert just respawned, and Liam is dead. Uh, Basil is opting for this 2v, 2v1 against Miggy and Jordan, but Miggy will go down, but Jordan will be able to clean it up. I have to imagine if Miggy actually got that ult off, I think they could have actually killed Basil, but it was just a little too long of a cooldown. So, a bit unfortunate. And Sam finds, wow, that hook did not look like it should have hit onto Hubert, but it doesn't matter. As nothing is really going to happen from this. Unless Anthony wants to look for some kind of flank, but it's definitely ill-advised. Sometimes when you're playing as Quinn, you just made a paper, and you just feel like you're a bird flying into a, a building. And so, just straight up dies there if he were to run into the Basil Dazzle team. This next Drake is coming up, though. Basil Dazzles do have three Baron buffs, I believe. Maybe four? But... They will be able to get Pryo in these side lanes before the Drake spawns, as Jordan is going to recall as well. Will be late to the Drake, I feel like. Anthony, not even close, so if he wants to be here for the Drake fight, he has to start moving now. And he does look like he is making his way now. Might be a little too late. We'll see if it matters, as both teams start to posture around the Drake. Anthony coming back. Jordan coming back. Liam's Premiums does have position over the pit, but it looks like they might just give it up. Liam does look like he's trying to get level 16 before this fight as he's taking the Gromp. They start up the Drake and uh, it's not quite level 16, but it doesn't matter. They're just bursting down this Drake. If Basil Dazzle wanted to do something, they have to do it now. And Wusung tries to go for the steal, but it's way too late. He, they will... Uh, Liam's Freedoms does get the Drake, but it's a huge ultimate from Mickey across the fight. And there's just so much going on. Anthony in the backline dies to Declan, but meanwhile in the frontline, Lilia is able to do so much damage in this team fight. Look at how much she's doing. And Jordan also stays alive, just dishing so much damage as everyone just starts running into him. Keo able to find one able to find one back as he kites out Liam, but won't be able to kite out Jordan. And so it's a 3 for 4 overall. They also get the Drake. Declan, the only one surviving on Basil Dazzle, the only one with Baron buff. So you have to think overall that Baron buff was not very really great. Not much was used out of it. They got mid prior for the Drake fight, but it didn't even matter. And is actually there's there's so much that Miggy is doing that I wish I could cast, but there's just so much else happening. Liam also in that fight. Dishing out so much AoE damage. Anthony was was tried to take out the backline, but was unsuccessful as he just gets denied by Declan. And yeah, Sammy Yoon also doing a great job um, peeling for a little while. I have no idea what happened for the rest of the fight, though. Like, I don't know what happened to Basil. So <laughs> maybe it'll be a fun one to rewatch if the frame rate isn't bad. I hope it's not. So we'll, we'll see. Might need to upgrade my setup or something. I have no idea. As, uh. Yeah. Liam's premiums. Closing the gold lead. It's gonna be. It's looking to be a close game three. Both teams have so many kills as well. Almost, like, just shy of a kill a minute. But, uh, yeah. Miggy finds a nice route onto Declan and finds a nice ult onto Declan as well. But it's just Hubert there. I don't know if they have enough damage. Declan just ults Mickey back. I don't think that was a great pick for them, but they do find one back. They do get the shutdown. Hubert able to survive so, for so long with the Eclipse Shield and the 
the, just the tankiness as well. And Liam uses the stopwatch to buy some time for his team, and the, the rest of the team does arrive. Jordan and Anthony deals with, able to do so much damage. Jordan healing so much in this team fight because of the Trundle passive. Will be able to take down Sammy before he goes down to Basil. Basil, no slash either. Will be able to just 2v1 this, I think. He's so strong. He cannot be discredited. And Keo will have to take his leave. Anthony going for a fight here. Will they be able to kill Basil? Basil kills Anthony before he goes. Bef but not before he's taken. Um, <clears throat> but he will just be cleaned up by Liam. So it's just w trading blows. It's a 4 for 4 overall. Liam and Keo the only survivors. <laughs> and wow. I am... There are so many small things that could have gone differently. But so many things ha also going right to let these be so close. I feel like both teams are really playing to their maximum. Which is great to see. And I'm glad to see that the teams are have evened out. I definitely love seeing Miggy on the Seraphine though. I know he doesn't really like playing it. But he's just so impactful on the champion that it's just so much better than when he plays Galio and Vex. He's able to be like a second support for his team. To be honest, he's like the only support for his team because the support right now is Huber on Vi. So, definitely liking how these team fights have been centered around the Seraphine ult as well as Lilia. It feels like Liam's Premium's team's team fight, while it's like, it is a bit silly, you have a Trundle ADC, it's actually arguably better than Basil's Dazzles because Caitlyn doesn't have much AoE, neither does Zin Zhao. And Irelia can only really take over a team fight if she doesn't get stopped by Trundle or Vi or Seraphine. So, I'm actually, I actually think, oh, wait, hold on to that size. Declan finds a huge guy of the week onto Lilia. Lilia will find the ultimate. All right, will use the stopwatch, but Mickey uses the ultimate, finds two, and Anthony, he goes Anthony on the flank, just completely dies to Declan again. And here comes the rest of the team fight. Will they able to win this one this time? Anthony, uh, Liam doing so much damage on Lilia. He's untouched. He will find a double kill. Make it a triple kill. Will he find a quadra kill? It's a quadra for Lilia. And Liam doing so much work. And supported by Mickey on Seraphine. And I am just so shocked that they can't burst down the team. Like... Basil Dazzle, it was looking so good for them at the start. They were able to force a stopwatch out of Lilia. And they were able to just I mean swat away Anthony like a like a like a fly. <laughs> so it was basically a pseudo 5v4 at first. I mean, there were a few abilities used on Anthony, I guess, but Liam just doing so much work on on this Lil on this Lilia. Liam Lilia. Too similar words. But he might just die here as- OH MY GOODNESS! WOW! He almost kills Kyo! We does kill Kyo! Wait, will he kill Kyo? HE DOES KILL KYO! OH MY GOSH! <laughs> he gets caught out, but he just kills Kyo anyway. It's definitely not worth it because it gives over a thousand gold for dying there. But still just a statement. And... He won't be alive for this Baron, so this might be damning for Liam's premiums. But we'll see how the rest of this goes up, goes down. They will definitely lose a Drake here as Wusung is alive. Won't lose a Smite Secure, I'm sure. I don't even think Liam's Premium is going to contest it, so... In fact, I think Liam's Premiums are going to do the opposite. Instead, they're just going to start their own objective. They're going to start Baron. Basil Dazzle definitely going to be way too late on this rotation. They have to answer the Super Minions marching down mid. And they all recall after the Drake, so... There's just no tempo for Basil Dazzle. Basil's Dazzles. And um, I love seeing this from Liam's premiums. They're waiting for Liam to revive so that he can also get the Baron buff. But, um, wow. Liam doing so much work <laughs> on Lilia. So it, it's definitely just come down. I, I, I can't even, like, to be honest, I can't even quantify how much Trundle is doing. I can quantify how much Anthony's doing, which is nothing. <laughs> it's really hard to play Quinn. I'm not. I don't. I'm not blaming him. It's not easy to play Quinn in the mid to late game, in my opinion. Especially when all you want to do is join a team fight. 
and uh, yeah. Oh, and that's kind of weak. Goes on to Hubert. He might just go down here. The the Seraphine only hits one, and it doesn't even matter. So just two free kills off, like after the Baron buff there. So Liam, crucially though, still alive. Miggy also still alive. The three most important members of Liam's premiums are still alive. And what the heck? That swirl seed just did half of Declan's damage. Or half of Declan's health. Ooh. A nice guy of the week. Fine. Gets connected onto Miggy, but... It does look to be okay. As... Basil's Dazzle is scared to take this fight here, and oh my gosh, the hook onto Liam is good. The ultimate is also good. Will Liam go down here? But no, it's another Zhonya's. Oh my goodness! M Liam finds a four-man sleep, and here comes Jordan. It's just, it's just free food for Jordan. He and Miggy doing so much to support his, su to support his ADC, the ADC trundle, and the triple kill for him. Liam does die there without killing anyone, but he. With his dying breath, he puts everyone to sleep and allows Liam Freeman to get the get the ace and is so poetic. As soon as Liam dies, he grants his team the victory. Such a beautiful game from <laughs> from the Lilia. And wow, I can't believe Trundle Vi Botlane will take game three for Liam's premiums. What a beautiful game. Liam's Premiums wins the series 2-1 to one over Basil's Dazzles. Wow. <laughs>